I'm giving away a Turtle Beach Elite Pro Gaming headset. All you guys have to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment why you guys want it in the comment section below. I seek you out, flay you alive. One more word and you won't survive. Hey guys, Reflex here, and today I'm bringing you guys this insane 13 kill gameplay that I got in a UMG yesterday. Now, I was going to upload this video yesterday, but I was actually pretty busy playing some TL and just stuff like that, and I didn't have time to upload a video. But with that being said, the class setup that I used in here was the M16, and I am a AR Slayer, as a lot of you guys do know if you guys have been following me for some time. Sometimes I will pull out the submachine gun, but mostly I am more accustomed to using the AR, and that is the most dominant AR in MWR is, of course, the M16. But with that being said, you can also use the M4 Carbine. I've seen a lot of competitive players use it, but if you guys do not like the M4 Carbine, um, or if you guys do not have a good shot with it, then you guys can definitely go ahead and use the M16. Now, in this gameplay, you guys do need to take into effect that my teammates were doing amazing work on the edges of the map. That is how I was able to actually get this gameplay, is because whenever I would play slow, my teammates would push up and get the slack. And that is a big factor when going for, you know, really good gameplays and competitive. Now, pubs are really different, but competitive, everybody's trying, um... There's a lot of communication and stuff like that, but if you guys do want to go ahead and take a minute to look at my buddy Spree, um, if I wasn't getting the kills, then he was getting the kills. If I wasn't pushed up as fast as I should have, then he would push up and uh, pick up my slack, so to say. Now let's take a minute and talk about this specific map. Now this map right here is Backlot. As a lot of you guys do know, this is the most balanced map in Call of Duty history. You guys can look it up, but and it is also my favorite map to play out of any Call of Duty ever made. So with that being said, this map, like I said, is a balanced map. What that means is it is a more team-based map. So you need to call up plays for your teammates and stuff like that to actually succeed and play really well on this map. So with that being said, two guys need to go A, one guy needs to go to the top A construction, and one guy can kind of play around in the bottom A construction area, preferably head glitching the A bomb. And then you can send a guy middle, and then you can also go ahead and play around and send a guy over to the broken street to kind of watch that down and hold down the B push. Now with that being said, if you guys do end up losing a guy top A or bottom A, the guy bottom A is accustomed to having to switch over and kind of play a more aggressive role to kind of get the kill that is top and then kill the other guy that is pushing down into the bottom a building now with that being said if this does not work for you guys then the guy over at the b street needs to rotate over and give you guys help in the middle map vicinity now another thing to kind of pay attention to in this gameplay is how i played the role i'm an ar slayer that means i'm using an m16 assault rifle now the reason why i put emphasis on assault rifle is because i cannot tell you how many times i've seen a competitive player or just another buddy of mine try using the ar as a submachine gun role now with that being said if you can do that go ahead but I'm just going to tell you guys from experience, 99% of the time, if you push into a small closed space with an assault rifle, you are going to get outgunned by it in submachine gun every single time. Now, with that being said, the only way you are typically going to win that gunfight against the sub, if you have an AR like in a closed space, um, is just because you have good host or because of connection, something like that. Now, the submachine guns in this game are obviously really, really strong. So with that being said, they're going to kill an AR up close in a matter of a snap of a finger just because of the fire rate now as for the fellow AR slayers like myself now the positions you guys want to position yourself around the map within AR is broken street the mid jump up on the dumpster and then you guys just want to kind of play in the back spawn area looking to the top construction now the reason you guys want to play broken street is because you guys can kind of keep the B push at bay and they won't be able to rush up in there because your AR shot is going to keep them kind of played honest now let's say you miss a couple of shots that doesn't matter. The reason that doesn't typically matter anymore is because these new gen players and most of the competitive players this day and age, they are going to play scared. Even if you're shooting down through there, all you have to do is make one one shot and then they're not going to want to push that anymore throughout the whole game. Now you can go up to top broken. This is another good play that I didn't mention. You guys can go to top broken with an AR and you guys can look through mid and look to top construction that way. Or you guys can obviously go to the back of the spawn and you guys can kind of look top construction that way get a pick that way help your team out and stuff like that now as for the mid jump up you guys need to be kind of you know 
a little bit more like on your heels and stuff like that when you guys are on that jump up because if a guy has a submachine gun you guys can shoot at them but if they shoot back at you and they even hit one bullet on you you guys need to jump down get out of there dip out of there turn into Barry Allen like the flash and just dip out um because you are going to get killed by a submachine gun even if you guys are on that head glitch Okay, let's talk about the perk 3 slot. Now the perk 3 slot, as a lot of you guys do know, this is a crucial and very important perk. Now with that being said, you have extreme conditioning and dead silence in there. Now with that being said, I cannot tell you guys how many players and how many AR Slayers I see running extreme conditioning. And before I get a lot of heat for saying this, you do not need extreme conditioning on an AR class. And here is my reasoning. Before you guys get to roasting me in the comments or before you guys get to roasting me on Twitter or messaging me on Xbox, whatever the case may be, I'm going to give you guys my reasoning and why I think you guys do not need extreme conditioning on an AR class. Alright, and here is the fact, well, the simple fact actually, and that is because you are an AR player. With you being an assault rifle, or having an assault rifle, or just simply playing with an assault rifle in that situation, you do not need extreme conditioning. And that being your whole purpose as an AR player is to clear out spaces for your sub, and that is to set on power positions. Um, set on head glitches, constantly pre aim cuts, and highly active rotations on the map in the game that you are playing or on the specific map that you guys are on. Now, with that being said, a dead silence can get you over there as quickly as extreme conditioning possibly or will do. So, with that being said, if you get over there like two seconds sooner, that's not really that big of a difference because do you know how many AR players I have knocked off head glitches with them pre aiming me with my AR? And that is simply due to the the fact that I'm just a better shot. See, that pretty much eliminates the whole argument that extreme conditioning is worth running on an AR. I would rather have an AR Slayer running dead silence than extreme conditioning any day of the week because dead silence, you can walk around, they don't hear you as loud as Bigfoot running through the woods. Um, you can crouch walk and you're pretty much a ninja, nobody can hear you, and you can just stay alive for a longer period of time. And if you are left alive in a one on three or a one on four, you have a better chance of survival and clutching up because they cannot hear you. So with that being said, I don't know, it's kind of a touching subject, but I'm just saying from experience, I would rather run dead at silence. Now it's completely the opposite if you are a sub player watching this video, you do want to go ahead and put on extreme conditioning because you guys need to be able to get into A quick as possible, you guys need to be able to rotate the bomb and stuff like that. Now that is all I have for you guys today and I hope some of these tips helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day.